These are the plaintiffs, Jamar Price and Dana Camp. Dana says she and one of the defendants worked together, and she got Jamar and the defendant together so they could mate their dogs and have a puppy litter. As payment, both she and Jamar were going to get one of the puppies each, but the defendant reneged on their agreement, and here they are. They're suing for $1,200, the amount they're out because the defendants double-crossed them. These are the defendants, Marlene Correa and Mariah Evans. Marlene says Jamar never stated he wanted a female puppy when they made the deal. It was only after her dog gave birth that he told her he wanted to mate the female pup with her father. It's her responsibility to protect her dog's litter. She decided she wasn't giving any puppies away. And since she said she was going to give them as a gift, she has the right to take that gift back and owes nothing. She's accused of pooping out on a puppy deal. The defendants who filed a countersuit for $1,000 for pain and suffering. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. Please. Jamar Price and Dana Kemp, yes. you are suing Marlene Correa and Mariah Evans for $1,200 that you say you are out as a result of them uh, backtracking on a promise to give you the pics of the litter. What happened here? Uh, Marlene and I work in the same department. She's, um, I'm her supervisor. and she What was my, kind of place is this? It's a grocery store. Okay, and you were her supervisor? Mm-hmm. Okay. And we, she was discussing that she wanted to mate her dog. Her dog was in heat and she wanted to mate her dog to show her girlfriend that she told her to get, get her fixed, and right now she was in heat, and to, to teach her a lesson about getting her fixed. If wait, I wait, 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 wait. This is a dog that they co-own? Yes. And your employee tells you, you're her supervisor, that I would like to, behind my girlfriend's back, mate my dog. What kind of dog was it? It was a Shih Tzu and- Shih Tzu what? Chihuahua. Shih Tzu Chihuahua. Mm -hmm. Is that a thing? My dog is a mix. She's a Shih Tzu and a Poodle. Your dog is a what? She's a Shih Tzu and a Poodle. She's a Shih Poo, is what they call Shih -poo. it. Shih Poo, right. Like, it's a thing. Like, they're, they're, you know, I got the Labradoodle. Okay, so it's a <laughs> Shih it's, it's called a Shih... What's it called? A Shih Poo. A Shih Poo. So it's not a Chihuahua. My dog is the Shih Tzu and a Chihuahua. Mm -hmm. Is that a thing? I don't know. It's a beautiful it's, dog. <laughs> what's it called? A Chih... I don't even want to <laughs> guess at it. All right. Okay. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> and your dog's just a mutt. Yeah, well, he doesn't look like a mutt, but he's... I'm he's sure he's adorable. Let me see yeah. your dog. Oh. oh, so cute. Wait, this is a what? <laughs> a Shih Tzu and a Chihuahua? Yeah. How do, you, how do you know? Where'd you get it? I bought it from a, a friend. She breeds this, the, those same dogs all the time. Shih Tzu, Shih Tzu mm -hmm. and Chihuahua? Yeah. It's a she she. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you talk to him, and then you go back to her the next day, and you tell her what? No, I took a picture of her, his dog, right. and I sent it to her, and she, I asked her, you know, if she was interested. She said yes, and in the messages, I mentioned that all he wants is a dog, a female dog, and I want, I want for my connection Hooking between them, right. I want one free. And she Let says, "Let me see the text." Um, I have the pictures, do you want No, I want the text where you said that and she said, okay. Yeah, I have them on picture, you want the phone. Oh, no, I want the actual text. I prefer the actual text okay. if you can. All right, so do you actually end up meeting her and talking to her? I didn't meet her until the night of. The and night of what? The night of the, mating? the dog's mating. Did it concern you at all that you're dealing with a, a lunatic who sneaks the dog out behind her girlfriend's back? I didn't know any of that stuff. You didn't know it, but know you it. knew it. Why didn't you tell him? I knew that... I thought they were co-owners that she was doing that. I've been working with her for over right, three but years. but you knew that so she I was like, sneaking around behind the other, and let's say it's a co-owner, sneaking around the co-owner's back. You don't think that that's deceitful and that you can't trust this person? No, because I, she's also an owner, and I worked with her, I knew her, I wouldn't think she would have done something like that. But you knew, because she told you she was doing something like that. You knew from the beginning that she was doing something like that. Yeah, but she was so also... So you had no scruples about that. There's nothing about that that made you go, hmm, doesn't seem right, nothing. No, uh, no. So, Ms. Correa, 
What are you doing? What do you mean? <laughs> what are you doing? Whose dog is this? My it's girl. my dog. It's not even your dog? No, it's not. So you took a dog that's not yours and mated it? Yes. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So uh, Shih Tzu and a poodle. That wasn't, that wasn't obscene. Um, is that a bad crossbreed? Well, I have a Pomponese, which is a Pomeranian Poodle Maltese, so... That's kind of close. Yeah. Does the dog bite? No. Does the dog... Uh, is the dog obedient? No. Is the dog smart? No. You see? <laughs> Do I really have to go any further? Seriously, going inside the courtroom. When did you tell your girlfriend the horrible deed you had done behind her back? Uh, like two weeks after the dog was due? Like before two weeks, like when the dog was due? Like within... Yeah. Wasn't it obvious the dog was pregnant? Yeah. Oh. And so did you tell her when she noticed that the dog was pregnant? Yes, I did tell her that. You told her the truth? Or I you told, told her the, the dog got out and got pregnant? No, I told her the truth. Okay. You talk to me. When did she finally come clean with what she had done to you? There's a point in which the dog will spew uh, a pink fluid when it's been, uh, let's say, fertilized. Okay. Right. And when she realized that the dog was definitely pregnant, she told me. Okay. That. She told you what? Go the ahead. dog had gotten out. That's right. She but lied then, then too. But then okay. she told the truth. So you didn't find, nobody has a problem with her? With the deception that's involved there? And then she lies to you and tells you the dog got out. Ah, oh, I left the door open. The dog got out. Ah. Well, she gets around and one, one escape out the door and, you know. No, I, we definitely have had problems due to the deception and the dishonesty, but okay. we're trying to Okay, so now it. the dogs are born and there's how many dogs? Six. Okay, and then you guys go over there and visit the puppies during the weeks before the bad thing happened. Okay, yes. and you pick out your puppy, correct? Mm -hmm. And you were supposed to get the pick of the litter. Yeah. Right, uh, only she had pick of the female litter. You had specified you wanted a female. And then sh she had already given away, I one guess, of the females, yes. one of the, the female you wanted. So you were willing to just abide by that and just take the next female that you yeah. wanted, correct? Yeah. Okay, and then you, by the way, did anybody, why were you mating a Shih Tzu uh, Chihuahua with a Shih Tzu Poodle? You don't have a problem with that either? I would not Because aside from being dece de deceptive, it's breeding, nobody recognized that. There's no name for that. So it's breeding a mutt. No, so, sir. yeah. Exactly. So, like, that, the intelligence part of that didn't bother you either? Everything about okay. this bothered so me. So tell me when you first realized that not only is she a liar, but then she turns around and tells you no puppy for you. When does that happen? On January 9th, the day before we were supposed to, she told us we had to wait tw the 10 weeks to pick up the dogs, and the 10... The day was January 10th would be the 10 weeks. The day before her and I worked together, I discussed it. I said, yeah, I went out and bought a cage. Um, uh, we, have to we have to work the next day. But um, after that, we set uh, we'll set up a time to go pick it up. She said that was fine. She left work. And then about an hour later, she sent me a text saying that I wasn't getting the dog and he wasn't getting the dog that he wanted. OK, I need to see all of those texts. You have it, have it up? All right, let me hear from you. What's going on? What exactly do you want to hear? All of it. I want your defense. defense. Go ahead. Okay. What happened here? Well, it all started with Nala. The dog got to What's heat. the name of the dog? Nala. 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 OK, go ahead. She got into heat or whatever. We got into an argument. I, I wanted her to spay the dog. She was like, no, I don't want to spay the dog, and this and that and the four. So I came up with an idea to get the dog pregnant. So and, I, and the idea to get the dog pregnant was because you wanted puppies or because you wanted to punish your girlfriend? I wanted puppies, and I wanted to punish her. Okay, go ahead. Did you keep any of these puppies, by the way? We have two of them. Two of the puppies two plus the pup Nala? Plus Nala, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the day of the, the mating, uh, we did this when my girlfriend was at work, when she was at the, her third shift. And, uh, yeah, then the dogs made it, and then that was it. When the dogs made it, what was the agreement that you made with them about what they would get out of your, to help you to facilitate? Because they're not in it because you're so cute. They're in it for what they can get out of it. Okay, so you, what was your agreement with them about what they would get out of it? Well, I, for Ms. Dan, Ms. Dan I told, it was more like a thank you gift. She's like, okay, let's make puppies. I, I want one. I'm like, okay, yeah, you can have one. I mean, they're mutts. I mean, I'm not going to know what to do with it. And he's like, she's like, oh, he's also going to want one too. I'm like, sure, let's do this. 
They, she never said once. Okay, but if, sure, let's do this, and then they do it, why didn't you go through? What, what made you change your mind about what you had agreed to do? Because he wanted the dog to mate with the father of it. And she had a hernia. She no. was a sick dog. No, that conversation never happened. Never she, happened. She and in said, fact, in the text where you're go answering her on why you're not giving him a dog, your answer has nothing to do with anything you just said, because you're probably lying right now under oath again. What your answer is, is I'm not giving you a dog. Your neighbor can't have that female. And the other female my friend wants. So he can choose a male. That's what you said. Yes. That has nothing to do with anything you just, you never said any word that you just uttered in court here at the time to them. When my text message to him, I mentioned it. He never denied it. I want to talk to you. Okay. When did you learn that she had promised a puppy for her and a puppy to him? I learned it when she told me what she'd done. Okay. And I said no, because she cannot make any contract with my possessions. And at is that it time, your possession or is it both of your possession? The dog is my possession. I got the dog when I was stationed in North Dakota. Before it, we ever even got together, I was still married to a different girl. When they did this, I was married to a different girl. She wow. has no right to speak for me. No. Wow. Why are you with her? What am I not seeing here? Because she seems incredibly deceptive. What am I not seeing? She's tried to make up for things she's done. You got it going on. I don't understand this, but it's not my business. So now, here's where we are, okay? First of all, the lawsuit against her is dismissed because she did nothing wrong, she made you no promises, and you can't sue her for something that her girlfriend does behind her back. So you're dismissed out of the lawsuit. Now, your lawsuit against Marlene Correra. You are suing, how do you come up with the figure that you're suing for? Because where we live, you know. Because you're suing for what, $800? Yeah. Yeah. I sued for the price of the dog and the maximum of eight puppies per litter at less than $100 per dog. Yeah, but you're assuming that someone wants to buy a mutt for a hundred bucks. Like, first of all, and second of all, you can buy your own mutt and then breed it and then not lose the profits because um, you can sell hundred dollar mutts in fantasy land. All right, and time for work and harassment and accusations, you're not going to get two hundred dollars for that. However, I am going to award each of you from Marlene Correa two hundred dollars, two hundred dollars for Jamar and two hundred dollars for Dana for um, having to buy another puppy. There you have it. That's my verdict. All right, everybody's holding right there, please. Excuse me. See what the defendants have to say coming out of this courtroom here. Um, 200 each for each puppy, but do you feel bad about what you did? Yes, I do. Have you, you've told her that? Yes. How, how, how does this, her deceptiveness in this whole situation, how does that affect uh, your relationship? It definitely is worse for it, but we're trying to work past it. Mm -hmm. And at work, you still see the plaintiff, right? Yes. What happens then when you see each other? Nothing. You just keep going on with my life. Whatever. You just walk by her. You just walk right by her and yes. don't say anything? Nope. Don't say two words to her. All right. Head around the corner this way, okay? All right. Step on out here and what about what you got out of this? 200 each for a puppy. Um, I mean, that's what I wanted for the dog, but it also was for the time and effort I had to get for agreement that we made. If she would have just gave us the dog, we would have still been working fine and wouldn't have been any problems. All right, down to the street, Harvey. Okay, just Kurt, short and sweet. I mean, these deals have to be committed in writing with specific obligations or else you're asking for trouble. And that will do it for this case litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.